Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. I actually want to start introducing myself since I've noticed I've never told you guys my name. If you are new here, my name is Ashley. I do vlogs and I plan to be doing a little bit more day in the life and just some activities that we are doing. So come on and come and enjoy. As you can see by the title, this is just a decorate with me for fall. It was a lot of fun making this, so I hope you enjoy. Adding the final touches on top of our fireplace. I picked up these pumpkins for $3 at Target. I got three of them. And then I got these scented pine cones from Sprouts. You just buy the big bag. Um, those candle holders are from Hobby Lobby. I don't know why there's a missing candle, but there should be a candle up there. That wreath is also from Hobby Lobby. That's from Hobby Lobby. I just got home from Target and I picked up a couple goodies when I went. I picked up this big pumpkin. He lights up. He was only $15. You want to see him? Yeah. Okay. You want to turn it on? We just put batteries in him. And then, oh, look at that. Is that your new pumpkin? Yeah. Is that your new friend? Uh, wow. Wow. Oh, we have these little batteries. No, that one has batteries in it already. It comes with batteries. So then the little skull lights up. I think he was $5. And then we got just this plain white pumpkin. Pumpkin. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. I think he was only $8. So I ended up putting the little pumpkin and the light-up pumpkin right here on my fireplace. And then I actually picked up these little skeletons and I hung them right here. I thought they would be so cute and so perfect. These are all from the dollar store. Good morning, everyone. We decided to do a Halloween craft since it's October 1st. We just cut out some little ghosts. Dior is working on his little ghost, cutting it out all by himself. And then all you're gonna do is buy some cotton balls and stick them on to the ghost. Mama, ma, no. Put another glue dot. Good job. Okay, now get a cotton ball and stick it on. Yeah, ma. Yay, good job. Ma, ma. Again, do another glue. So then after your whole ghost is filled with cotton balls. You just cut out a little eyes and a little mouth to glue on top. And look at mine. Good job, you're almost done cutting it out. I remember I showed you guys the kids making the ghosts. I had to show you the final product. The one with the eyebrows is Dior's. The other one is Brody's. I just thought they turned out so cute. And it was such a fun and easy craft to make. Our newest addition to our couch are these really fun orange pillows. I don't really like orange, but since my whole living room is just kind of nude, not nude, like creams and grays, I thought, why not get some orange pillows just to give one pop of color and make it look a little bit more Halloween. Then I went ahead and changed my sign. It said home before. Now I change it to boo and add a little white pumpkin over here. And instead of candles, I put pine cones. And then I got my little skull up here, put my favorite candle right here. It is the Pumpkin Souffle by Jumel's Candles. Then right here, as soon as you walk in my entranceway, I put just a little pumpkin, my little light up pumpkin. I got him from Target last year. And then I have my thankful sign from Hobby Lobby with some more pine cones over here. And just a bunch of vases from the dollar store that I painted myself. Well, here was little baby. Here was little baby. Did you? Well, here was baby. They have so many cute items at Target right now. They have so many animated ones. 
You guys should definitely come here if you're looking for some. You like that one? Yes. You also have this creepy little wolf. Yes. Brody likes this phone and it's kind of creepy so I think we're going to buy it. Mom, and then we also this. picked up some pumpkin. Yeah, mom. This. Mom. Mama. I stacked up some more little pumpkins right here on my kitchen island. I just thought it was cute to have like a little stacking effect. Thanks again for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and like my channel. Um, if you subscribe, it'll help me out so much. And if you just leave one little like or even a comment of video ideas or something that you did like in the video, that would be so helpful too. So thank you and have a great day.